big ambitions. Trying to make, oh yeah, definitely, but I just mean in the future in life. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to go as far with her as I can. And okay. To hear your story, it's like, wow, it can be done. So. It can be done. She's uh, very similar. We're like we're having to just kind of do a little counter bend on the right side when we're going to the left. So that's what we're saying. Okay, will you just start her? So for those of you, are there people here who don't know all these horses? Yes. Or, okay. So this horse um, is a five-year-old Oldenburg that Heather has had since she was a fall. And um, the thing that Heather said is kind of the big focus for this mare, especially looking towards the future, is creating some cadence so that we, we don't just run in our trot extensions and that sort of thing. Um, really cute mare and I can actually say just by looking at her her warm-up trot that this should not be super difficult um, it is greedy to ask for a ton of suspension from a five-year-old but um, but they can at least start learning the half halt business of it but we're gonna let Heather warm up and I'm just gonna jump in where I see like I can help but so far it looks pretty good find that equal feeling on both reins. Very good. Good, and let's post in the direction we're going. So if you're going to move her off your left leg now, you should be posting with her right shoulder. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, give you a rein and give her a boot. Come. Good. In that moment, okay, I would make the sideways easier and just reinforce that she's got to take a big stride. This is going to be the most important thing when it comes, yeah, and let her, let her take a little rein. Good. And then half halter again. I don't mind in that moment if it's not perfect, if she speeds up, but she's got to feel like as you start doing these things that are a collection, like at the end of that leg yield, her hind leg got very close to her front leg and she find, found it difficult. So it's important to remember that just because she struggles, that you have to give her a place to be successful and to understand that that struggle will get easier. Not saying that just because she's struggling, she's being a bad girl. Yeah, and that 
that's sometimes the challenge you run into with the hotter horse is that when she gets um she can get tense if she doesn't understand what Heather is saying. And so it's important in that moment to feel like I've been saying with all the horses, like you can get her to stretch at any time. You know what I mean? And I don't mean open your fingers. I mean kind of close your fists and drop your hands, maybe make them a little wider for her for a second. But that if you feel that tension in the back, that you have total control over her top line to say, if you drop your neck one inch, you're gonna have to let go in your back, okay? But having that, it's always so important to have a way, a tool that you can relax the horses. And for me, that's the stretch. You'll hear me talk a lot about tempo control and position control. And that's because uh, that's all we do. We control the football of the horse and the position that they're in when they do it. And if you have total control of those two things, you have a high level ground pre horse. But the tricks themselves are not so important. Fine. And so even in your warm up, Heather, I would start thinking, even though she's a baby, you know, if you're working a little bit on the cadence, I would start thinking a little bit about being able to just change your tempo a little. Not that she has to stay, but that if you touched a little bit your left rein, that you can get her to come back a little bit. And if she does, then you relax and she's allowed to go on. But I'd like to see you be able to get her to stretch a little bit more through your outside rein. Uh, feeling like you could pet her on the inside. Yeah. And almost even this direction. Just a slight counter flexion. You know when she wants to be tight like that in her back? You just have to help her with the positioning that's most effective for what you're trying to achieve. A little bit through the left. Even if she, no, don't worry if she breaks, okay? If you chase her on in that moment, it's gonna cause more tension. So just for the sake of schooling the back, okay? If you're in a test, obviously she has to stay cantering, but you said that forward is not a problem for her. Good. So I would just say that if she breaks, that's very good enough. Yeah. It's okay, that's okay. Then take her back to canter. You told her to do that, okay. <laughs> We're having a wardrobe malfunction. 